Hello out there, my name is Abdurrahman Umar. Welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at mean deviation of grouped data. Let's go. So here is our problem. Below are the heights in centimeters of 40 people in the social group. Calculate the mean deviation of the distribution. To start the solution to this problem, we have to bring in the mean deviation formula which is a sigma f into absolute value of x minus x bar over sigma f. So this is summation of the product of the frequency multiplied by x minus the mean, then divide by the sum of the frequency. It means we are going to find the mean of this distribution. So the formula for calculating the mean is given as sigma fx over sigma f. We need a column for x and the fx. So we have the columns. Um, we are going to get x from the class intervals. This is the lower limit and the upper limit. We sum them up and divide by 2. 135 plus 144 divided by 2 gives 139.5. 145 plus 154 divided by 2 gives 149.5. 155 plus 164 divided by 2 gives 159.5. 165 plus 174 divided by 2 gives 169.5. 175 plus 184 divided by 2 gives 179.5. 185 plus 194 divided by 2 gives 189.5. We go ahead to find fx. fx means the frequency multiplied by x. For your information, this x means the mid value of the class intervals. So we multiply. 4 times 139.5 gives 558. 5 times 149.5 gives 747.5. 8 times 159.5 gives 1276. 14 times 169.5 gives 2373. 6 times 179.5 gives 1077. And finally, 3 times 189.5 gives 568.5 so we are going to add two columns here that is the column for f and the column for fx so summing up this we have 40 summing up this from our calculator we have 6600 substituting into this formula we have 6600 divided by 40 which gives the mean to be 165 we then go ahead to calculate mean deviation, which is sigma f into x minus x bar absolute value divided by summation of f. We need more columns to accommodate this. We are getting x minus x bar absolute value of whatever we get from here. And then the last column is the product of the frequency and this column. This is our x and this is our x bar. So 139.5 minus 165 gives minus 25.5. 149.5 minus 165 gives minus 15.5. 159.5 minus 165 gives minus 5.5. 169.5 minus 165 gives 4.5. 175.5 minus 165 gives 14.5. And finally, 189.5 minus 165 gives 24.5 then we have this we told you by absolute value we are returning all of them as positive so that's giving us 25.5 15.5 5.5 4.5 14.5 and 24.5 so we go to the last column we said frequency multiplied by absolute value of x minus x bar so 4 times 25.5 gives 102 5 times 15.5 gives 77.5. 8 times 55.5 gives 44. 14 times 4.5 gives 63. 6 times 14.5 gives 87. And 3 times 24.5 gives 73.5. So for this, we are going to sum up the values we've gotten in the last column. So we already have this, which is 40. Summing this last column from our calculator, we have 447. 
So substituting this into the mean deviation formula, this is going to give us 447 divided by 40, and that gives 11.175, which represents the mean deviation of the distribution represented in this table. And that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.